So I got a little revelation about something. Um, and I was sharing with my uncle about something I was reading in Romans. Uh, we had a conversation. We were talking about some different things. So I was sharing with him what I got. Um, and I, I, in the midst of sharing, I, I have my air fryer on. And I'm talking. And then he's talking back to me. And he's talking back to me and I can hear him. Like literally we're right here and the air fryer's right a little bit away. But it was very hard to hear him. What he was saying is distorted. And it's not that my uncle, his voice isn't loud enough. It was the fact that I had something on that was distracting me or keeping me from hearing his voice. All too often in our walk and our relationship with God, we find ourselves in a place where we hear God's voice very clearly. And then at times in our life, it becomes kind of distorted and very hard to hear because all of the things that we have in our life make a noise. All of the air fryers that we have on in our life, all of the distractions, our phone, God is constantly telling me, hey, you have to make time for me because we have so much that we can get into with our phones, with social media, with with so many things, it can become very hard to to take time and spend time with God because you find yourself in a place where I know I can get on the internet, I can get on social media and I could start reading something and find myself on Facebook and Instagram for two, three hours. When that could have been time, I could have been spending hearing the voice of God, getting the direction for my life, getting understanding, getting more knowledge about who I am, more knowledge about what he's called me to do, more knowledge about my purpose, more ideals, more strategies about what he's called me to do. But because I find myself not being intentional about spending time. I allow other things to take the place and space where God should be. And because I do that, just like that air fryer when I was talking to my uncle, it made it so I couldn't really hear him clearly. I could hear him bits and pieces, but I really had to focus in and get it off. So if you find yourself in a place where you can hear God's voice, but it's a little distorted, you may want to look, reevaluate your life and see what what things that you have that are take trying to take the space and place of your relationship uh, with God? I always ask. I, I like to ask questions like, "Why is this happening? Why does this?" Because there's a reason why these things are trying to. It's a reason why. And I heard the voice of the Lord when I was talking to Him. Turn it off. When I turned it off, I could hear Him so clearly. It was like, man, this like I, when He was talking, I could hear Him. But I really had to focus in. I really had to, like, but when I cut that air fryer off, man, it was so clear. And that's how it is with God. When you cut off the distractions and you be intentional about hearing him, intentional about walking with him, intentional about seeking him, you find yourself in a place where, ooh, you can hear him so clearly. You can hear He said when he says, no, don't go that way. No, 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 go left. No, 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 no. Uh, nope don't talk about that no no listen to this no this take this job no no no. don't take this job no 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 go this way no you can hear him so clearly when you make time and you move the distractions out the way whatever it may be if it's social media if it's if it's a friend if it's somebody you're seeing you have to get you have to move them out the way because they are there for a reason and like i said i always ask the question why is is this here why is this and sometimes it's there to get you off where god is calling you to if something can keep you distracted then it can keep you from not walking in your purpose the air fryer was on even though i was using it for the purpose in which i needed it to cook but right then in that moment i was trying to get some information that i needed more knowledge and understanding that i needed so i could i can i can always cut it back on Cut it off for a minute to get more understanding. So sometimes you got to shut stuff down for a minute to get more understanding, more direction, more revelation that God wants to reveal to you. It's not as if God isn't speaking, but it may be you're not hearing him clearly because you have too much stuff on cluttering and hearing him. 
So I pray that the knowledge of your understanding would be enlightened, that you would know what God has called you to, that you would cut off all the distractions and seek God fully and wholeheartedly. Be blessed, people of God. I love you. Have a great day.